Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Postgres Season 2. I ran some progress between episodes, like, uh, done rail there, just, and I said, what I dug from the tunnel, which is only that much. I've done some landscaping digging there, but not that much. But, uh, like, here's going to be, like, the bed and maybe, like, other passenger cars, and then over there is going to be, like, a big train, like, locomotive. And right now, I'm going to Violet Space, and me, Jesse, and Violet are going to go on a little mining trip. So, this will be really interesting. I am breeding <laughs> the, Jesse's cat so many times. <laughs> it feels more of a troll instead of, like, actually, please. It was happening, and she's so angry. Oh, okay. Jesse, at fun. least make one of your cats stand oh. up. Come on. Did I pass? I that? know. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I want, bro, I want cats. What the hell, man? Demon, stop making them <laughs> each other. There's <laughs> flying <laughs> cats in the air. There's so many cats. Dude, oh my god. Good. There's flying cats. Drag spike. If the la if the server starts lagging, I'm blaming Jesse. Sorry. There's so much here. lag from the cats in the bubbles. And the game's gonna it's crash so from all the lag. It's creating <laughs> too many bubbles. It's mostly <laughs> bubbles. Oh, Twiggy left. Oh, oh god, my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Dude, what have you done? Like <laughs> one frame per five seconds. Okay, okay, my frames are back. My frames are back. There's so many cats. Water and cats don't mix because of all the lag. Oh, I'm not going over that bridge. I'm Get back here. Now I have to stay off bridges because of this. Oh my god. Cats in the air. The cats are in the air. The cats are in the air. What if like, the creepers are... So Gonna get so scared that they actually explode because gonna there's pants, too many though. cats. <laughs> I'm out of fish. Out. I'm out. Oh no. Oh my oh, god. Oh no. That is I'm too just many. So... Um. You see what you did, Steve? <laughs> you wanted cats. I didn't want this many. Um, to get so after like the whole funny cat incident, didn't think like so many cats can cause lag and apparently they can fly. Apparently with lag. Even underneath the bridge, I'm really surprised. And especially with the bubbles, they cause so much lag. And I have to redo the entrance of the shaft, the mine shaft. I think that's just going to take Oh boy. And I think the rain was going to stop here. Like, there'll be, like, a buffer thing. And then, like, the crane will be off here, like, off a bed. And then, like, it's, like, right above there, like, showing off, like, it's, like, just plopped it down or something, you know? Like, like they just came off the train and can plop down there and looking really cool. But I think the only thing... Can be done, like, is like maybe try to make a key or something here, or, or make something like to make it look cooler. Man, this is going to take a lot of brick if I actually can find any. But before we start doing work on there, I also, uh, yeah, my axe is almost dead because I uh, dropped a lot of trees, just wanted to clear some more area. But uh, before we go there, the grace said, uh, like, uh, I'll see her underground, like, thing, but, uh, she said that there was a lot of stuff done, and I'm, like, yeah, I still like the lot, this is a lot of spruce wood, I wonder if she needs any, um, oak, oh, dang, oh, oh, wow, this was supposed to be my room, but this looks so, what the heck, how long did, this take oh and here's the map oh oh wow wait oh i know where that's supposed to go this is i can tell this map was supposed to go like here oh wow oh wow that looks insane you can really see all the detail Dang, look, look at all this detail look at that wow 
This looks cool. I think my rail goes all the way to here somewhere. And I chopped more of these trees. Like, all oh, these trees are gone. This is taking a lot of time, I can tell. And look at all this detail. Wait, is this an aquarium? Oh, wow. Sign wall. And I guess this is storage, I guess. I don't know. It looks so cool. That's a lot of glowstone. Man, especially in the game, that's hard to get, but dang. I wonder what's this room gonna be. It looks cool. I am surprised on how cool this is. Especially the map. I'm like surprised on how much detail that is. But before we uh, do some of the bridge work or some kind of detail, I need to get play. But I do know coordinates onto where there is a lush cave but i have no idea how big it is so i'm gonna go to there right now oh my god oh my god that scared the shit out of me there was a i thought i was nothing but the thing is with a skeleton horse oh god oh no oh no 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 i was wondering why oh no i need to get this out oh he got stuck hey get wrecked So right here is the, oh no, yeah right here is like where the lush cave is, uh, of the azalea. I no idea how deep this is, so it's gonna take a little bit. How deep is this? Oh, found it! I wonder how much I will need. Ah, but it's actually a lot. And yeah, that was... Pretty good. I got like 11 stacks, like 11 and a half stacks about. And that was such a good mine trip. I think got some diamonds here. A bit of gold and redstone iron. I actually need iron. I forget on how slow everything is when you start off from scratch. It's so hard. Especially the stupid deep slate. So right here. I uh, done some work off camera, trying to figure out like, how it would look, but yes, definitely the wheels are big. And I have like, I have the grindstones here as like shafts, like the bearings, and it's the full width here to be a real giant mega uh, train, you know. And on top of it, it'll be a crane. And the cranes, like, they are like, as I already said, but it looks really. This is like kind of like showing it off. I have to move the bumpers. <laughs> and I like this look. Like seeing like like a cool fence and like the lights and and uh, the dead end train stop or rail stop. I don't know. However it's fun. And I have like this cool little looking pier. And on the side also. I really like this. I have to get more brick. But yeah, I like it. And apparently over there, I had to build something. Uh, yeah, like he built like this giant platform in the middle of here. I do not know why he built it here. And he said it's like a mega tower for some reason. Like why build it here? Like why not build it way over there or like, uh, or next to the mountain? Because honestly, like I understand this is a cool area, but it could have been at least on the other side of the mountain or something, right? Yeah, and like a rose and metallic uh, or someone else uh, just don't really like that platform. I just wonder what is going to be the tower. Like, what's going to be in the tower, you know? I'm just wondering. And then I really like how, like, the train bed looks. It's, like, so mega, but yeah, it looks cool so far. I'm still trying to figure out the design on how it should look. Like I put a bunch of uh, mangrove slabs because like mangrove is hard to get, but thinking maybe that should be the area and like the other break to make it look as a fence. And like right back in the middle is like the crane, steampunk and maybe a little bit of modern in there. And like with a giant claw above the, above the portal to make it look like it just got dropped off from the train. And then like, Maybe the next bed can be something else, or I don't know. 
it just looks really cool so far right here i'm like showing like trying to like figure out how to build the cliff and honestly i like how it looks so far i just have like some stone i don't have that much stone anymore i only found like some stone that i had when i mined but yeah just a little section and honestly it looks really cool and like so much depth and detail and like you got some blocks in some areas but honestly it looks pretty good so far yeah I'm thinking of having it like maybe all the way to there and to there, like to make it a bit more in depth and like cool looking. And then a giant bridge here somewhere to like the mega airship. That'd be really cool. Well, I love the cliff already. Uh, and I guess I'm gonna be redoing the wine sometime. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but yeah, I like it so far. So, update on the cliff I got stone from a rose. A uh, bottle and um, pole melon, like they have stone and uh, oh yeah, and max minion also got some more of the cliff built. It was only like this little section now, like I got more of it and it looks real cool. Ooh. Still loving the depth. And uh, I gave Mew like a scaffolding because like she needs it more than me because of and how cool and intricate this build looks over here. It's just so cool looking. I really like it. Man, it looks so cool. And also, uh, Adept built more of his, uh, apparently, the Japanese-style thing. I'm honestly surprised on how big that is. I didn't think it would be that big, but I think I like my cliff even more. It's, like, so good-looking. Man, that looks good. Yeah, like, even with the scaffolding from up this high, it looks really good-looking. Even, like, it's, like, been eaten away or something over there. And... I have to redo the mine shaft, but I'm really liking this look. Looks way cooler than the original mountain. It's like wrap around there or something, or make it float around. I do not know. It just looks good. Like the cliff makes it more cool and natural looking. Like it had to be here. It just looks so good. I'm loving it. So uh, Valeta wants me to come up to see their creation, like Max and Violet. And I was just grabbing some cobble and stone from Wow's house with Amethyst down in the basement just to do some more of the cliff and some terrain on top. I want to see what they built because honestly, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so it's a little bit more down there. Okay, so where is it? Oh, oh, that looks sick. Oh, go in, go in. Oh. <laughs> Okay, this looks cool. Oh man. Wait, are you done the other side? Uh, 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 oh. Oh, what the heck? This looks good. Is this like the lobby redone? Oh. Oh, it is redone. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. <laughs> that looks so good. Oh, back to the cliff. But dang, I love how this cliff is turning out so good. I love. The cliff and the so that looks cool too. I did not think it would be like a circle with a dragon head on there and a dragon portal. Honestly, that is cool looking. Oh man, that looks awesome. Oh man, I am surprised on how good that is. Oh wow. So I'm just gonna finish it like that for now because honestly, I know I have to do more there and more there, but that is just too much work already. I, I don't know, 12 hours or less hours. I don't know. This on this whole big section, but one thing is it's really hard to get stone. Uh, Max made a stone generator, but he used a silk touch pick to get like more stone. And boy, oh my, this is like double double chest full, I guess. I don't know for sure, but it's just so much work. But I love it so much. And I'm thinking on top should be my new starter base, and and that should be just. A museum then, like not my starter base. Oh, but I was thinking to do that, but maybe that should be just a, a museum because of the maps. Up there is going to be like somewhere off the cliff, maybe like have my starter base and then have like a bridge going to an airship or something. And like maybe my mega base will be on top, maybe too. I don't know. I just really want, I really love the 
this cliff so much and i just just realized how am i going to get up there I didn't even think of the of how to even get up there oh hey tyler like this corner bit maybe it's a little ugly i don't know maybe it's good but it's like really hard to get a good corner cliff but the thing is like i first time making a big giant cliff like it's uh, except for last season when i then the river but uh didn't get footage of that but this is like three times harder than that one but it's like gonna be really long and really cool looking and uh that's like me use little check for like building the portal and the thing is it's just like a temporary and honestly like the actual build is up there but it's just like a temporary for this but man i love how this looks and i'm thinking like off the side of the cliff someday be giant cars and gears and pipes maybe like a giant pipe coming out water going into the boilers to pull all this weight you know and it's really cool but how am i gonna get up there like maybe put a water elevator in here somewhere and the view from up here is so impressively cool oh i did not know i could see the dragon head over there with the well and I know like Grace has been doing some terraforming there for her cliff. <laughs> yeah, this is like so cool. I haven't done some terraforming here. Like maybe here's the river going there. And man, this is insanely cool. Like I like my own terraforming and I like how this looks so far. Oh wait, this is a lot of work. It's so much, but I love it. The view is just beautiful. I have to make a new start base then. So I think my new starter base should be here because honestly it's like a cool curve I made it or well, right now I have the this should be like a river I know it's wonderful but that's like a temporary for me to get up here oh no oh that was oh no okay and also I got so touched like, that took forever to get from a uh, enchanting table that took like an hour or something because like not a lot of people have a full enchanting table so I had to like get a paper and uh, and also when I was at Dragon Hill I uh, was trying to kill a creeper but I couldn't uh, explode the dragon by accident and uh, I repaired it as I think it was to its original form so I it and back I'm sorry I didn't mean to Yep, I'm gonna get back when I put a bit of my base here or something. <laughs> so I'm not back on. I'm on my cliff, doing my own business with my starter base, my new one. And then I see this here. And like, I'm like, what the? Really? Why? And then the guy started to do a little bit of that with the mushroom, but that didn't work out because it's only at nighttime I can do it. So I'm thinking maybe I can do some of this. Uh, if you remember from the friend server, when I pranked Vanny, I kind of wanted to do the same thing there, like all the way to Skynet. Oh eh, boy. Yeah, I done the spruce tree a little bit later after that's been taken down, but that's so much taller and I went to Skynet. But now it's being all taken down, but that's like hand spruce trees and like they took like 20 or or more cherry blossom trees just to get to the lower height and then get going to faster and harder but without a litra and some people have a litra already gosh dang it and i'm still in iron armor here rocking the couch and that was a fun little experience yep yeah oh, back to my uh, uh cliff starter base i'm like still working on it it looks pretty cool and uh but here i'm thinking maybe a bit of a under Ground basement here, uh, build out more of here, like try to build some kind of like full portal thing and maybe a uh, super smelter. Because honestly, I, I need a super smelter because of all the stuff I have to smell down. And I have to take down the mushrooms, but honestly, I like how this looks so far. I love this. I'm partially done with the starter base, like as I showed a little bit before. And also, the tree is gone. When Violet was taking down the giant spruce tree I done, she got eight stacks of spruce and uh like yeah she only got eight stacks from it and it was surprising that much because of, well but it is surprising because it's on the way to world height but dang that's a lot of wood 
Oh, yeah, but, uh, Vinan does need a spruce wood for some time. Oh, yeah, and also I got a wheat field there. And I want to go check out that dragon later because honestly, I have no idea who built that. And what did they use? It looks cool from up here. And Gracie is doing something there. I do not know what exactly, but I want to check that out also. After uh, showing off my starter build. Well, it's showing off my new starter build. I mean, because like the one down there is like just. I think I might have gotten a little bit too big. I just would go simpler. And I think this is actually pretty good. I think this should be just starter and that's just a museum. I am going to finish that up. I just need to. I uh, need materials. And I made a little path here, made a little walkway up here, and those uh, chisel bookshelves, I think it maybe like exhaust fans or something from like my mouse or something, maybe like, like steampunk or like what I got retired engines as decor, you know? And um, having this like a nice window here and have copper belt, like steampunk, and, and this is here, like my balcony. I know, so like it was funny how like Eka kept jumping onto there, and then going into there in, there in all mode. And apparently, when you have like spyglass equipped, it's like does not like move the hand. It's like a floating spyglass, and it's so funny. Oh my gosh, I was surprised on how funny that is. And also, I got more storage here, but I moved all of the my stuff from there like to all these chests, and I'm surprised like. All of them are full with items. Oh god. Also, I'm surprised on found my secret down there. <laughs> oh man, that, I'm just surprised on how much stuff I have. I'm trying to go organized here, like a, a bit, but uh, it's a lot of stuff. It's like, oh lord, I did not know I had this much. Okay, well, those three just are empty, and these two also. But yeah, and also I probably had two smokers. So uh, this is my build so far, and uh, I'm gonna do more of it next episode because honestly, I already done the cliff, and honestly that took like so long, but so good, and I love it. And I think it actually goes better with this area now because honestly I wanted to build here, but honestly this looks better. I also put scaffolding there to uh, get down and up. I think. Um, that's a temporary way, and honestly, I'm also thinking maybe in the future, have like a nice and usual course going through here, man-made caves, and like flying through there, and like going down and under, then maybe going through that mega train, then like going all the way to there and back around. It would be cool. It would be even better than the nature course that I was trying to make on season one. I didn't fire the whole thing in some time, but uh, yeah, I really love how this area looks so far. Wait, is that? Oh no, wait, is that a bridge over there? I think that's a bridge, I think. But let's go to the dragon. Yeah, I'm like looking at it and I'm just still wondering who built it. It just looks so cool. Before the dragon, it was like some kind of cube building I saw off from there. Oh wow. The one from a farm cliff looks cool. I have to take down the flying mushroom heads because they look like flying saucers over there or something. Oh, the flying saucers. They, oh, they use deep state brick. Oh, dang. Wait, there's a sign here. What, do, what does this say? Rose's build. Rose built this? Rose? I thought it was someone else. Oh, dang, Rose. That looks so cool. Wait, what's in here? Dirt. Dirt. Okay. Yeah, I'm just surprised on how cool that looks. I'm surprised? Man. That is a lot of purple glass. I was wondering why so much purple glass. Dang. Let's go to Gracie's house, uh, build, like, on the mountain, too, because I want to see what's going on there. And I like how she terraformed the Mountain also like me. Gracie, if you need some wood, maybe ask uh, Violet if, if you can get some spruce from her. I thought I saw copper in the distance there for a sec. Oh god. <laughs> Too much green. Hey Gracie. Why do I say Gracie? I have no idea why. 
There's Gracie's. Oh, yeah. Grace's mountain right there. Wait, what does this say? Why are you still snooping around? Oh, dang. The views from here to there, all the way to the dragon. Man, this is beautiful. All right, and also uh, Violet has a floating nine in there, too. Looks cool. And she changed her house to that, too. Like a smaller one. I mean, it was too big. I, I have no idea. But, uh, and also there's a house over there. I don't see it because of the render distance, but, uh, uh, let's go over there, too. Because I have no idea whose house is that, it's really cool. Wait, why did Twiggy make the same house as that one? Okay, that makes me really, really confused now. I figured, whose house is that? Wait, that house wasn't there before. Wait, whose is that? I have to check that one out. But yeah, this base is really cool. Looking. <laughs> Whose base is this? God, this is beautiful. Wait, what's in here? Okay. Yeah, I like I like the interior. Oh yeah, that oh yeah, that's cool too. Wait, there's a clock? I think they're really fancy, huh? Oh yeah. I still work in progress right now. Okay then. That's a stable, that's portal. Oh, this is Moon and Rose's base, I think. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Moon and Rose. And I like this. Oh, yeah, and there's this. And that. I think this is supposed to be like a enchanting room or something, like for the enchanting table. But it's like a gazebo or something. I don't know what that's supposed to be, like the fireplace or something, or what? I don't, I don't know, but I like the tunnel. <laughs> Man, this looks good though. I do not know who done the path, but I think Max, maybe, but it looks cool. Wait, is this finished or no? No, it's not, but yeah, I know interiors take a long time to make. I know that for sure. Oh, dang, that looks so detailed. Oh, there's a friend one. Oh, Fa, Fa? Oh. Oh dang, that is oh this is good. Oh, okay, that okay, 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 this is this looks cool, Fa. Nice job on the interior. Ink. Oh dang, Fa, you're good at this. Oh dang. Dang, right? It feels like the ending is more like a war around like new areas just like before the video is about to end, but yeah, I like this so far. Dang, this so Everyone like, that's still watching, click that little bell and subscribe to the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.